Sometimes you want to use SNMB for monitoring your Linux systems. And this is not too hard to do. Um, you can configure SNMP fairly easily using the net SNMP packages. So in order to get net SNMP, you can do a yum install net SNMP. And in order to be able to test things, you want to get net SNMP utils. So these two packages, get them installed on your server machine. And this makes it so that you can then send UDP requests over and get information about things you want on your machine. All right, so once you have the packages installed, the configuration files are stored in the etc SNMP directory. So we go over here and you can see there are a couple of files. There's the net snmpd.conf and the, actually the net snmpd.conf and the SNMP trap D. We're going to worry about the snmpd.com file. So we take that one, snmpd.com. All right, we go in this file. And by default, SNMP machines, devices in general, have two community strings or password community strings that are used pretty much universally everywhere. Almost all SNMP devices are configured to use the public community string for read-only access and the private community string for read-write access. So that creates a security vulnerability if you want to keep things secret if you don't want people using the, well, public would be available by default for most machines. And this machine is configured to use public as its default community string. To change that, I change the word public right here to something else. Um, such as Aloha123. You obviously want something a little more secure, but you got to remember that these things are going to be passed using UDP in plain text across the network, so you really can't secure it that well. Um, you don't want it to be some super secret password, just something that no one's going to be guessing. All right. If you want to disable some of the protocols, you can do that as well. Uh, there is version 1 and version 2C. Um, let's go ahead and disable version 1, even though we might need it. Um, all right, there we go. So now we've made a couple of configuration changes. Now it's time to go ahead and start our service. So we exit out, save this, and we can start the service using the system CTL start SNMP D. Once the service is going, we can test it, um, but we want to make sure this thing will start automatically on boot time. So I'm also going to enable the service. All right, so now it's been enabled, so it will start automatically at boot time. Okay, in order to test it from outside the firewall, we need to open up a hole in the firewall. And so to do that, we use the firewall CMD add service SNMP SNMP command. If we want to make that permanent, we can add the dash dash permanent to that. And, all right. So now it is permanently added to the firewall. So the next time the firewall is restarted, we will have the service get through the firewall as well. Okay. Now we want to test it. Because the service is running and we have it all ready to go. We have the utilities installed. We can use the snmp get command and we're going to use it against local local host and we're going to use um, version 2c v2c and we're going to pass it the community string of aloha123 and what we want to get is our sys name dot zero. All right. So we run this command and it reports back. Uh, our server is reporting. Its name is server.example.com. So that's good. You can also use the SNMP walk command. So you take off this and maybe just change the system and um, changes to walk. And that will go through a whole list of different values. 
numerically counting through them and checking different pieces of information. So we can scroll through this and we can see that in this list right here, we also have our, our description, we have our name in there. It's all up here, your name, locations, assuming it was set, which is not set, all that information. Okay, so that is the server. If we wanted to then check it from a different machine, we could go over to our client machine. We do a, a yum install net snmp utils. Install that over here on this client machine. It's already installed, so we can go ahead and just use this. So we do an snmp get, and we want to probe the server. And our server is server.example.com. And we're going to pass it over version 2C with a community string of Aloha123. And we're gonna ask for the uh, sys name dot zero. And the server reports back that it is server.example.com. We can also do a, an SNP walk just like we did on the server. And um, we can put the name system here. We can leave it blank and it'll just clap walk through everything that it can find. And there we go. We've got all this information. And we know that SNMP is working and we can communicate. And at this point we can use some other SNMP utility or program that monitors SNMP to do our SNMP monitoring. And that's how you configure SNMP on Linux machines.